some titty milk. Thanks, <laughs> milk. Anyway, I want to give all praises to the most high power. Yahweh. Ha. I don't have your mind to ha. Yahweh. Yahweh. So, today I'm just going to read something. I want to explain what the Kaitani Files, why um, I made my team the name Kaitani Files, why I have chosen the name Kaitani Files, why. I got ordained with the name Kaitani for why, um, why, what, who is Kaitani for? What is it? So I'm going to explain to you, Angela. This is a family creed that's been passed down for generations. It's a secret, and the secret was, um, hidden in the shadows, hidden in the dark, for our benefits, for the future, for the end days. Uh, end days don't mean like the end of the world, it just means when it comes to the crunch, crunch time, this is crunch time, okay, time, time to, time to, uh, re-up ourselves and fulfill the prophecies, meaning rise up, overthrow, and get the power, so, I'm just gonna read this, you know, for a while, so I better stand over here so you can see me. Hopefully you can hear me. I'm gonna let the music play back. So I'm gonna explain the Kaitani for I'm gonna use I'm just gonna read this and then I'm gonna use um scriptures to back it up. Okay. Kaitani for is the highest rank in the eyes of the gods and must keep the kawa amau and do it. Our purpose is to teach the kawa. In its true understanding, Kaitanifa is the father of the Kaitiaki. As a Kaitanifa, we must get raised up into power to establish the Kawa, the greatest moral compass known to man, the everlasting light, the Kawa, and are the everlasting light is the Kawa, and we Kaitanifa Modi will carry it with the Aroha, and do the will of our creator for our good for a thousand generations we hold no secrets we will openly share our view and say we are team kaitanifa sent to judge and make war against all wicked inventions team kaitanifa is chosen for this purpose the fiery serpents the rainbow warriors those who raised up christ hence why we say hawaii too that's our purpose and our role is to raise up Christ. And to raise up Christ is raising up the nation. Okay? It's brought us some power. So we need to raise it up. And that's the Kaitani Father's job. And the Kaitani Father's job is to show you the koa. Okay? We meant to teach you the koa. And it's true understanding. So I'm just going to get some scripts to back it up. I'll just get it off my phone. My um, my bottom's in the car, so got the backup on the phone. Nothing prepared. I'll just bring it out. So the first uh, not nothing there, right? So the first one we want to go to is uh, John three fourteen. John chapter 3 verse 14 and it reads and as Moses lifted up the serpent in the wilderness even so must the son of man be lifted up so just the way Moses 
lifted up the serpent in the wilderness is the same way and the only way that Christ can be lifted up. Okay? That whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have eternal life. Understand that. So we're going to go and get what Moses did in the wilderness. That's in Numbers. Uh, numbers. Uh, we'll start at two, 21 and 8. Numbers 21 and 8. And the Lord said unto Moses, Make thee a fiery serpent, and set it upon a pole. And it shall come to pass, that every one that is bitten, when he looketh upon it, shall live. So, that's what um, is established. The pole is the ranking system. And on the top, on the highest ranking system, is the kaitani fire, the fiery serpent. Make that on this pole. Why? Because that serpent, when it sees unjust, will justify the un I will uh, give justice upon the um, unjust. I will judge anyway what's wicked and evil. And when it sees things that need to be corrected, it will correct it according to the law. And these Kaitanifa carry the kawa. The head of every man is Christ. So what's on my head is the kawa. And then I want to shine that kawa onto you. And the kawa you don't understand and you don't know. So we have to teach it to you. And you don't know why it's there for. It's called a moral compass. Maui is Moses, right? Maui is the, uh, the god of navigation. He's got many god talents. And uh, one of his talents and his abilities is navigating. Okay, people think it's navigating the ocean, you know, on the seas in a, in a, in a canoe or something. But no, it's navigating through this wicked, dark, evil place. When you're void without knowledge, he's got a compass for you. When you forgot who you are, he's got a compass for you. When you don't know what to do in this life and in this world, he's got a compass for you. When you're oppressed, he's got a compass for you. When you're in rulership, he's got a compass for you. Okay? He left us the greatest compass known to man, and that is the scriptures, and that's the kupi of the word. That's what he left us behind. And people don't believe me. It's all right. Do your whole homework that um, the, the white man didn't write the Bible. Um, the Modi are the original Europeans. Um, we've been governing this planet for years and years and years, a long time, okay? And... Us coming to the bottom is to show you how powerful the Most High is. He's going to show you how powerful we are. He's going to raise these people up and then bring us down and then raise us up and bring them down. Just to show his power off. Mm. Just to show how uh, how this compass works. Okay? So, Kia ora. We are the Kaitani for Moody and we're here. To set order and decency onto this planet, and to rebuke all wicked inventions of those nations, and to rec correct our people in the righteous path, not to make them stumble, not to lead them to slaughter, but to make them know the way. If you read in the book of Miyamoto, Miyamoto Masashi, uh, known as the Book of Five Rings, that's the that's a good moral compass as well. It's the second best, the way of the warrior. Well, he says in everything, there's 10,000 ways to do that thing. But in those 10,000 ways, there's only one true way to do it proper. Understand that. And everything is hard at first. But through training and, and reciting and um, consistency of doing it over and over again, you become perfect, okay? So we need to be consistent in keeping this color. 
We need to be consistent in loving one another. We gotta take away the hatred that you have towards each other. Understand that. What we gotta hate is the evil. Okay? Things are gotta change. Um I'm a great witness of the darkest things in New Zealand. I'm from the Gara of Otara, of Māngere, of Rewa, and I represent that culture, that society, still Māori, still here, still hard, representing my culture as best, to the best of my ability, but I know the kaua better than all of you, because I come from the bottom, that's what it represents when you're on your knee, and putting your hand on the ground, in kapa. It represents being in the mud, at the bottom, oppressed, and then we're down, and then someone calls us up, we put our head up, and then we look, and then we go back down, until the time, and this is the time, no one has time's time, and then we rise. So, there's heaps of dark scenes that you don't understand, but, now you understand, you've got 24, Modi, our purpose, and we have a purpose. We don't have no uh, ide ideologies. No, we have a purpose, and we have done our homework. We are not backsliders. We are not confused or confu confounded by anything. We know what we worship. We know what we want. We know our goal. We know our plan. Mm. And we serve the Creator. Mm. And we are from the waters of Hawaii. And we're here to Hawaii too. It's our first move you learn in Taiwan. First and foremost, Hawaii too. You know, Te Ota Mingeri is my tūpuna, and he was the one who taught this art to the people because it's part of our creed. Mm. So, Hawaii too is the first thing we must do. Go to Maui, Matau. It means observe. Observe everything. Mm. So, um, if you want to learn the scriptures, come through me. If you want to um, get to the kingdom, you have to keep the commandments. If you want to get into power, you have to keep the commandments. If you want to be in authority, to be the kaitiaki, to be the rangatira, to be the tohunga, then you have to keep the commandments. Keep the kawa. That's the only way you can live. And to live is when you're in heaven. Meaning when you're in power, okay? We don't want to go around in circles. We don't want to be like the rain no more. Our spirit came from heaven, drops onto this earth, dies, and then goes back to the heaven, and then it's a continuous cycle. Now it's over for that. I'm going to stop the cycle of continuous uh, sleep. I'm going to wake everybody up and create um, a best place, and that's called heaven. And that's going to be put on earth. We want everybody to come out the ticket into a privileged world where they can thrive. We're not going to have an elect or a selected people thriving. Everyone's going to thrive. Okay, that's the plan. Everything's going to be for free. Everybody's going to contribute for free. Then everything's for free. We're going to take away everything that's wicked. And we're going to make everybody thrive. Because that's the purpose of our life of life is to thrive to become the best you can ever become okay mm, and we're here to correct that no play arounds no more no games it's all been confounded and confused on who we are, actually are um i'm keen to challenge anybody to be honest mm. we're the holders of the light the keepers of the light for thousands and thousands of generations and we're here to Prove it and teach me so. Because it's not just mine, it's ours, it's our heritage. So, first, learn how to wear your, wear your pew pew again, chuck it on. Remember, pew pew has, has a code in it, you can read pew pew. Okay, so when you're making a pew pew, it's connected to the model, and the model has a knot, and that first knot is called. Uh, kaupapa, and that knot is connected to the next knot known as the tikanga, and that knot is connected to the kawa. That's why we used to hold it in kapahaka days. We used to tell everybody, hold it, 
I took on a remember, keep the color, keep the color, keep the color. This is a, it's a reminder to keep the color. Never forget losing the color. Car is the light. The light that's shining on me is the car. That's the car. That's the light. And the wa is the everlasting, the eternal, the timeless. It's never going to move or change. So we need to keep the color. People are scared of the color because they think it's hard to keep. When it's not, it's simple. If I can do it, you can do it. I'm from the gutter. I'm from the most violent generation of all New Zealand history. We're from the streets of South Auckland, Otara. We used to do everything ruthless and wickedness. Everything you can imagine, we've done it. And if we can repent, so can you. I'm not struggling. I'm not poor. I'm not weak. I know what's good. I know it's righteous. I know I'm not confounded on nothing. I'm confounding you with this knowledge. So first, you've fallen for the image. First mistake. Second, you think of uh, worldly things. Don't do that. You start doing emotional opinions. So I suggest you all repent, meaning return back to our ways. Our old ways worked, but things got misunderstood. That made us fall into this captivity. Okay. So keep the cover to the best of your abilities. Um, no smooth faces anymore. I want to see lions. You can fucking make it look nice and tidied up. You can have, you know, you can be stylish still. But lions, woman, learn to tone your voice down towards your own men. Okay. He's your brother, he's your son, he's your nephew, he's your father, he's your uncle, he's your blood of that man. So respect all your men. Mm. And tell your man to keep the commandments. Push him to the front lines, push him into the trenches. You tell him, woman, you tell him, that's your job, you cut him. He comes in the gates and he goes out of the gates. That's when you speak any time. As long as you say, he comes in, he goes out. You're the, you're the gate, you're the... The gates is the, is the legs, okay, woman. Mm, the church teaches women to keep their mouth shut. No, that's wrong. The women keep their mouth shut when men are speaking towards men with each other about counsels. That's when women shush because it's got nothing to do with them. Mm, it's all got something to do for them because a man's love is for the future generations. It's a different love that men have for their children. They think of future generations. So that's why, that, that's the only place a woman keeps quiet, when the men are speaking with other men. And that's the same as other men. Men don't talk when other men are speaking. Kids shouldn't talk when other men are speaking. It's just the truth. But women, they can speak at, at any moment when it's talking about opening the gates or closing the gates. Who comes in, who goes out. If she doesn't like who's in the hare, she can tell them to fuck off. That's the truth. If she doesn't like what's going on in the house, she can cut out. She's allowed to travail. She's the whaler. She's meant to tell us what to do. Mm. But righteous things, she don't, she don't tell us to do wickedness. She leads us to the righteous path. And that's the woman's role. She can tell you what to do if it's righteous, if you're being backslider, if you're being a sluggard. She can tell you to get off your fucking ass. That's her role. Her role is to tell her man to give him the confidence, to give him the mana to stand up and want to fucking stand against the world for her. That's her job, to make that man fucking yell, do anything for you, my girl. And that's what I do for mine. Mm, I've got to die. Yeah, so that's how we got to be. You know, shit has changed. I'm lucky I'm raised with the hood niggas. We all got fucking codes. We got loyalty. We have, we already have, we already established hood. Hood laws, hood rules. We have our coop up in the, in the neighborhood. No snitching on our own people. To the pigs. You know? Don't bring your hotiness here. Don't bring that heat to me. Keep the heat away. You know? It's basics. Don't fucking hurt on any other homies, girls. Basics. That's rule number one, too. You know, there's a G code. And those codes taught us good morals. And, um... Nah, fucking all these other towns and all these countries need to learn it because they isolated themselves from um, from all the struggle. 
And then they got this, um, they're getting an arrogance about them, you know, thinking that they're better. Thinking that their um, trials and tribulations is tough, you know. But I'm raised up north as well. I went to Kakawe West Primary. I went to Northern College. I went to Whangarei Boys High. Yeah, so I know the North and I know that attitude. And that's why I loved it, Auckland. Because the attitude was brother, brother love. Was about each other. We knew who the enemy is. Yeah, we still we stood in the front lines in the trenches, getting impressed right up the guts in the belly of the beast. Yeah. And then I come home and then everybody's all divided and shit talking shit. All fucking acting like faggots, act like uh, dumb cunts, all running away to Mahi. Or want to be isolated on their own little buzz. Fucking this is meant to be the home of the warriors. Shit. So yeah. I'm here to. Just throw the cover at your faces. And me and my team will come through. And prevail. Mm. So if you're still watching from. Till now. Fuck me. You got some good wisdom listening to this. Yeah I can go. On and on and on for hours. My music stopped. Yeah. So, there's some laws he's meant to keep. Uh, First law is pretty difficult for you to keep, so um, just work on your faith. Faith in that things are going to get better, things are going to be okay. This is going to work out. This is the plan. Okay, have faith. Um, you don't need to know, if you don't know the name of the Messiah, you know, we're going to make a new covenant, but you don't need to know the Lord no more. We don't need to know the Lord. All you've got to know is the cover. I'll know the Lord for us. Everyone's trying to know the Lord. If you don't know the kawa, you don't know nothing. So just know the kawa. You know, and know that um, we have many hapu, and many links, and many teams, and many mixed multitudes of people that ain't even together. We all got different ideologies and thoughts. So the Most High told me, and I understand his words and his scriptures. So, what we got to do is keep the commandments of loving more than one another and not loving the enemy, loving the good and hating the evil. Make your basics, simple words, simple commandments. Chuck your pews back on, okay? Wear them. If you want to look styler, make them look styler, okay? So, I do. You know you want to start... Representing your own, okay? You're overthrowing these punk asses, these damn cave monkeys. So, you know, I can bring out scriptures some more. Numbers 21 and 6. And the Lord sent fiery serpents among the people, and they bit the people, and much people of Israel died. So that's what I'm coming here to do. I'm coming to bite you, and I want to kill that wicked spirit, that sluggard spirit you got, that backsliding, weak pussy bit spirit you got, that doesn't want to fight it for your pussy ass nation. You need to stand up for it. Now I'm going to kill that pussy ass spirit you have in you, and make you want to get up and stand with me, or against me. Let's stand up for a reason. Stop living in this punk ass world and being a follower. Calling me a sheep. Now I'm trying to overthrow a nation. So that's what I'm here to do. I'm here to make you die. Kill all your wickedness. Therefore the people came to Moses and said, We have sinned to make you realize to fuck up. Sin means to transgress the law. When you don't keep the cover, you're in sin. Okay, and sin means breaking the color. We don't want to be breaking the color. 
And you want to realize that. So therefore the people came to Moses and said, we have sinned. It means we have fucked up. Just take it. Fuck yeah, we fucked up as a people. For we have spoken against the Lord and against thee. So we speak against Mao and we speak against the Creator. Pray unto the Lord that he take away the serpents from us. So pray unto the Lord that, and tell him to take me away. And I'll go away with the killing your wicked ass spirit. And when you humble yourself down and understand that this is the truth and the way that will set you free from this captivity. Then you understand. Come with me. Holler at me. I'm your homie. I'm your G. I ain't no punk ass nigga who will talk shit in your face and then stab you in the back. I ain't gonna be looking at your mumsies. I ain't gonna be looking at your missus. Yeah. I ain't gonna be looking at no fucking bitches or your woman. Your mighty ass woman. I ain't gonna look at them. Sorry for my language, but I'm, that's how I gotta treat them. So I stay loyal to my ribs. To my rib. Okay. The rib is the one who protects the heart. Okay. It's the woman's job. Understand it. She gotta protect the heart of the man. Mm. So be she's the defense. Mm. And the woman represents wisdom, understanding, knowledge, truth. The travailing woman, that's why the mind is called Hinimaro. It's dealing with the power of a woman. Mm. So woman they are well proper. Stop picking on the men. Stop talking above them and thinking you're better and above a man or you independent woman. No, no, no. No. Don't be an, an independent woman. Be a family woman. Okay? okay? Have a husband. Get you a husband. Love him. Okay? Hmm. Then make him be a god. Treat him like it. He'll behave like it. When you treat him like it, he'll behave like it. Hmm. If he doesn't, fucking, I'll talk to him. Niggas better appreciate that shit. Hey. So, keep the call, keep the commandments. This is Oni Kaitani Fati Waka Mingeri. Tu Kaitani Fati Mm, All praise to the Most High. Tao. And. Salut to the viewers. Fucking. Um, I might as well give away some. Something. You know. If you are looking for some fringes and all that. Um. I'm gonna get us. I'm gonna get. A, I'm gonna get a, a quick. Uh, it's Q and A. So I'm gonna give you the question, and then the first person to give me the answer, I'll hook you up with some uh, a solid style of T-shirt, with some fringes. Yeah. Uh, fuck all. If you want me to tag on it, I'll tag on it. If you don't, I'm good. Uh, but oh yeah, I'll chuck you a T-shirt. But um, this is the question. Um, what's an easy one? Hmm. Easy and simple. Okay. So, if Christ is the light, what is the light and what is he? Okay. And... I want the I want the um the two verses the two precepts to back it up. So that's the hint. The hint is Christ is the light. Mm. So what is he? What is Christ if he is the light? Okay, basic, easy, easy peasy. So like like subscribe share so this um, information gets out there. To all the people, because we're actually going to take over. It's going to happen. Mm. It's going to happen. Okay. So, all honor and glory to the Most High Power. Uh, solid for you for watching. Uh, Shalom. Barakatah. Kwam Yasha'ala. Boom.